In this video, we're going to talk about two ways in which we could calculate the root mean square molecular speed of nitrogen gas at 300 Kelvin. So let's start with this formula. It's equal to 3 kT divided by the mass. Now k is Boltzmann's constant and m is the mass of a single nitrogen gas molecule in kilograms. Now using the periodic table, the atomic mass of nitrogen is 14.01, but in this problem we have two of them, so it's 28.02 atomic mass units. Now we need to convert atomic mass units to kilograms, and the conversion is pretty simple, and so here's what you need to do. You need to know that one atomic mass unit is 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. So let's multiply those two numbers. So you should get 4.651 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. So what we're going to do is take this value, plug it into this equation. Boltzmann's constant is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 and the temperature is 300 Kelvin. And now, let's plug in the mass that we have. So go ahead and type this in to your calculator. So this will give you about 517 meters per second. And so that's the answer. Now, in chemistry, you might see this equation used more often. 3RT divided by capital M, which is the molar mass of N2 in kilograms per mole. Now, the atomic mass, we said was 14.01 times 2. So that gave us a molar mass of 28.02 atomic mass units, which is the same as grams per mole. But we need to convert grams to kilograms. And you need to know that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. And so 28.02 divided by a thousand, that's going to be 0 0.02802 kilograms per mole. So this is the value that we're going to plug in to this formula. So the root mean square velocity is going to be the square root of 3 and R is going to be 8.3145 and the temperature is still 300 Kelvin divided by the molar mass of 0 0.02802 so this will give you the same answer of 517 meters per second 